And here's the embedded mirror board experience, which is awesome, where you don't need a mirror account and you can just create a board without registration. So I clicked on that and you can see here is our web SDK. You can see we are using note, and then the content on the sticky note is just gonna say, this is a sticky note. And then we're gonna zoom to that sticky note. I don't have to write any code. I can just click on run and you can see it has created a sticky note and we've zoomed into it. Why would you build on Miro when you can easily build on Figma, Lucid, or Mural? In the next four minutes, I'll tell you exactly why. You'll learn how to use our award-winning onboarding essentials to make development fun. You'll learn how to use our SDK without creating an account. And you'll learn how to use our open source app examples to quickly start with a working app. Let's dive into it. So here we can go to the Miro developer platform and we can either start building now or explore new features. I'm just gonna click on explore new features and I'm just gonna turn it into the light mode. And then I'm gonna click on get started with the Miro developer platform. We have our guided onboarding for developers. This is our award winning guide and each task is featured, features a learning objective, an estimated time to completion, a progress bar, and then it's a very much a step-by-step -step journey. So let's go ahead and go to step one. You can see it takes about five minutes. Here's the progress bar. We also have our learning objective, which is actually just to create a sticky note on a mirror board. And here is the embedded mirror board experience, which is awesome, where you don't need a mirror account and you can just create a board without registration. So I clicked on that and you can see here is our web SDK. You can see we are using note, and then the content on the sticky note is just gonna say, this is a sticky note. And then we're gonna zoom to that sticky note. I don't have to write any code. I can just click on run and you can see it has created a sticky note and we've zoomed into it. So that's amazing. Now I can click on complete this guide and it'll take me to the next step. I'll let you complete the rest of this guide, but again, you can see how easy it is and how intuitive it is. And again, if you sign into a Miro account, all of this will be saved on your account so you can keep your progress and you can see how your app is progressing on your own account. Now let's take a look at a really cool fun challenge, which is the scavenger, scavenger hunt. So we can see in the first instruction from the Miro board, find an image that has the ID which is ending in 759. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And here's the mirror board that we're gonna be working with. And you can see there's a lot of images here. And again, I'm just gonna hit run. And then now I'm gonna erase this and just do something like let image equals await mirror.board.get by ID. And you can see I can pass in the ID here. And let's just maybe try something like zoom too. So await mirror await uh, mirror dot board dot view port dot zoom to and then I'm going to pass in that image nice so we've uh, zoomed into that image now let's try something like console.log image again we found the image we have the title there so I'll let you go ahead and complete the rest of the scavenger hunt. I don't want to complete it for you, but go ahead and try out the next couple of instructions and go ahead and check out our web SDK reference guide if you're stuck. So have fun and go for it. So now I want to go ahead and show you what happens when you log in with a Miro account. So here I'm actually logged into my developer hub and you can see all of my achieved badges. So for example, I have my where's Miro scavenger hunt badge achieved. And I also have some SDK Explorer and other badges here. So here are our guides. You can see I've already completed the onboarding essentials, but we also have a create a Miro app locally guide, a build a full stack Miro app guide, which is more advanced, and then a submit and share your app guide. But really my favorite part of the developer hub is this create apps using examples. So you can easily search and find different apps based on keywords. So again, if I'm looking for AI, I can find this AI image generator. If I'm looking for anything using the web SDK, I can just type in SDK. Or if I look for REST API, I can look for apps using the REST API. You can view, go ahead and view the source code on GitHub. And each of our guides actually comes with a nice demo video to show what the app does. So you can see in a couple seconds, this will generate an image based on the prompt and you can go ahead and drag and drop that into the board. And this is using OpenAI. And again, we have the associated video, we have the included features, tools and technologies, prerequisites, and the actual step-by-step -step guide on how to actually install the app and run it. 
What's even better though, is we can actually go ahead and click on register app using example settings. And then here I can go ahead and give the app a name, which it looks fine. And then I'll just click on create app. And this is great. Now I can see edit in my manifest. It already has the local host already set up for me and all the scopes are already here, which is great. So the nice thing about that is I don't have to actually perform any configuration and I don't need to do any coding to actually set up the app. In this video, you learned how to get started with the onboarding guides. You learned how to use the web SDK without a Miro account, and you learned how to use our open source repos to actually register the app and configure them with a click of a button. Thanks for watching.